Um, so we've run a lot of, like you said, three man fronts. I mm. feel like <clears throat> sometimes that's been personnel. And I feel like sometimes that's been scheme, right? Where you've got yeah. a team that's run a lot of spread, makes a lot of sense to put a bunch of bodies out there in those passing it's lanes true. and have that speed on the field, mm -hmm. right? That's one benefit I think people don't realize is when you've got eight guys, it's a lot of speed moving around. It's a lot of erasers on broken yeah. plays. It's a lot of help. It's true. Well, we saw it last year. I mean, especially with Jacob Robinson and yeah. Malik and those guys, you know, that they're flying around, you know, yeah. great coverage. So. Do you think this year we've got some more personnel pieces maybe to go more for man, or do you think it's a change of maybe scheme or philosophy, or do you think it's maybe a little bit of both? Um, I think, yeah, I think it could be a little bit of both. Um, I think it definitely helps, you know, having Peyton and Keenan back. Yeah. Um, as far as personnel goes, it makes everything a little bit easier, you know. Um, but, yeah, I think, you know, just it'll, it'll help us be just more disruptive and um, – you know, we, we played with it a lot in the spring, and we've um, run a lot of four downs so far in camp. So, I mean, obviously, it's always subject to change. But right. I think right now, it's that's what the rumor is. We're playing a four man, so it's we're excited about it. I like that. I like Kevin, and you always have the flexibility to just swap out a guy, of course, and, and do that. But I'm glad we're focused on it, working on it. Yeah, um, I'm so excited about this year. Tell me about like what do you think. What are your expectations for this year? What do you feel about the team? What's the vibe on the team? Well, I I mean, everybody's talking about this is, you know, supposed to be one of the best teams we've ever had. Like, um, just with the amount of returning production and, uh, you know, the hardest schedule we've ever had in the independent era, going in, you know, leading us into the Big 12 next year. Um, and I just, you know, I can't agree more. It's, yeah. um, I think everybody's really excited. We are way ahead of where we were this time last year. Um, mm -hmm. And it's, it's just kind of a different feel, I think. Like, I, I don't think anyone's like, okay, like fall camp, like time to learn everything. Like, it's just been a continual building process since the end of last year. It's it's really accelerated. I mean, yeah. I think the offense put the entire offense in in fall camp in like three or four days. Like, yeah. It's awesome. And like, it's way fast. Guys like Chris mm -hmm. or Houston who are maybe new to it, mm -hmm. their position coaches can work with them on the side. Right. Catch us because everybody else is good to go. Yeah. They just hit the ground and go, I, dude, I'm, I think they're <laughs> We're stoked. Like, yeah. It's going to be really, really fun. Talk about this old line. So you go against this old line <coughs> often, right? All the Every days. day. You guys go nine on seven, I'm sure. You go one on ones. Mm -hmm. What's it like going against three of those guys are on a watch list? Another yeah. one's a five star recruit. Another one's a fifth year senior, I think. And Harris has got NFL potential. Yeah. Talks about the old line. Um, they're, I mean, super talented. Um, they're, you know, one of the, probably the hardest working groups we have. Um, but they're, I mean, they're great. They, it's, it's really good for us to be able to practice against a top 10 old line every day. Yeah. Um, you know, going into the season where we're going to face, I think, three other top 10 old lines. And, yeah, I saw and that. Oregon, Baylor, and Notre Dame, right? Yeah. So, no, it, it's huge for us. Um, you know, and having Clark healthy, um, it's huge. That guy's a beast on the inside. Yes, you know. Is. So, it's – no, it, it makes us a lot better. Yeah. So, because we know, you know, they've gotten a lot of hype. But yeah. they, I think they've done a really good job handling it, you know, having, um, you know, just the poison or whatever you want to call yeah, it. like the rat poison. Yeah. Yeah, like <clears throat> just an example of this. We were talking to some – this is a couple group of guys about an NIL thing coming up. Uh -huh. It's a pretty good thing. Blake's <laughs> like, hey, I just have to focus on this right now. Yeah. Like, I can't do anything else. I'm focused on this. And we're like, yeah. well, obviously, respect football first, school first, right? Mm -hmm. This is a icing on the cake of your college experience to do right. this NIL stuff. But, like, I was, I was, like, so stoked to hear that. Yeah. yeah. Well, and Blake's, Blake's young, too. I mean, he's yeah. I think he's going to be a junior this year, right? Yeah. But, I mean... You know, he's a, he came out of high school. I, mean, I think he's only probably 20. Like, yeah. He's younger than a lot of us. You know, so that's, that's super impressive. I didn't I hadn't heard that story. Yeah. So I, I'm super stoked. I just, these guys are dialed in. Like, even like Clark, yeah. like I got into Clark and did some t shirt stuff. Mm -hmm. and, but it was, even when I talked to him about ball, I could tell he's ready to go. He's dialed Everybody's in. Everybody's super focused. Like, it's, yeah, there's everybody's doing extra work. Like, it's, it's super focused on technique. Like, it's just a different feel just than, you know, the past couple of years that I've been here. Yeah. So, and you talk about, you said about building on last season, mm -hmm. you just get 1% better, you know, or whatever you're starting where you were a pretty dang good team and you're getting a little bit better. Yeah. I think it's 
reasonable to be pretty excited about this year? Uh, I'd say it's more than reasonable. More than reasonable. More than reasonable. I so. like hearing that, man. I like hearing <laughs> yes, that a lot. Yes, sir. Okay, well, we're going to swag you up with some really cool swag. Okay, I love it. Uh, before, before we do this, is there any way people can support you, follow you on Instagram, shout you out? Anything you're doing you want to shout out? No? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I think, so my, my wife and I put it on social media a couple weeks ago. Um, you know, and we... So we're doing um, IVF in vitro. Um, and, you know, at first, like talking with our parents, we were going to be kind of private about it. Yeah. But with how, you know, my wife works full time and with, you know, busy being as busy as we are, I, we felt like we could just, you know, use all the support that we could get. And, you know, and, and being the culture that we have here, you know, like we talked about earlier, it's it's been <clears throat> a huge blessing to um yeah kind of open up a little bit and just share with, you know, what's going on in our lives. Cause the amount of support that we've gotten in the past few weeks, I, you know, probably cried more just cause of random people, right. you know, just reaching out and being supportive in the past couple of weeks than I have in the past 10 years, you know, right. I, it's been incredible. So yeah. Um, that's just kind of what we're going through right now. And, uh, yeah, my Instagram is just Caden underscore Haas. Um, and, and yeah, that's just, you know, could always use more support so that's what we're um what's going on right now with me cool so. man cool man well you need to just let us all know like we're all okay. here for you man okay so we got this really swaggy cool brother brigham brother brigham sticker for you Sweet. Sticker. love that and we've got uh the shirt okay for you, you wanna, same one as you it's the same one you want to unveil it though for yes. the camera probably love that got you swagged up there get yes sir taken, get you taken care of and then we've got uh we gotta have you sign this ball of all okay. the players have come on and done Perfect. interviews with us as well. So, very good. Well, while he signs that, I was go ahead and sign off. Katie, any last words? Um, just go Cougs. We're excited. We appreciate y'all, and uh, you know, can't wait to see as many of you as we can in Tampa. All right, so, sounds good. Okay, okay. Cougar boards out. <laughs>